All right, so in Windows, there's this feature called Menu Acceleration where you press Alt, release it, and then you press F or whatever, and it'll open up a menu, right? It also works for Alt E, works for like Alt in this case, V, and then you can keep hitting buttons like Z, O to zoom out or whatever, and it'll do stuff, right? That's fine. The problem is that it's forced on you, even if you don't want it. And there's no way, according to every source I've looked at on the internet, to get rid of it. You can't change it from the registry. There's just nothing to do. All these people have ideas of how to fix this in auto hotkey. Some of them say that it works, but if this used to work, it doesn't anymore. Fortunately, I found the answer. Here you go. Here's a big old script. You can get to this from my GitHub. Here's a bunch of preamble of basically what I'm saying right now. Here's the solution. You have to pair it with a scan code of an unassigned key so that you don't have to sacrifice any keys. If you want this script, it is on my GitHub, or at least it will be on my GitHub once I figure out how to update this stupid repository. It'll be in this folder. I'll give you a link. It'll be in the description. There's something wrong with my GitHub, and it does this. So if you know what this is all about, I'm going to give some more details at the end of the video. But anyway, I'll find a way to get that file up there. So for those of you who don't want to know how this works, you can just download it from here and run it. And I'll have an EXE as well. And all you need to do is uh, move that into your system. You can put it on the desktop or whatever. And then you can also create in your startup folder a shortcut that goes there so that when you open your computer again, you restart, that it'll just run the script, which is what I do for all these, right? These all just run when I run my machine. So... Let me show you how the script works. If you do Alt down, hold it, and then you press F12, and then you release F12, and then you release Alt, guess what? Notice it did not highlight file. So if I press F, it gives me a normal F keystroke. You see, the problem is that in a program like Premiere, if I, I have to use Alt in ways that I can't rebind, so to expand these tracks, for example, I have to use Alt. Um, to do this, I have to use Alt. And most frequently what I do is uh, I will duplicate. Oh, shut up. I will duplicate stuff using Alt. Move it over, duplicate, right? But if you press it and then you, oh, what just happened? You know, you um, don't do anything and then you're trying to like use your regular keystrokes to do stuff, you might accidentally end up in the menu. You see the problem? So anyway, what the script does, uh, let's run it here. Windows Mods Alt Menu Acceleration Disabler. It gives you a nice little little do not enter sort of sign down here. Let's uh, actually enable the tooltips so you can see what's happening. Uh, save, double click, Alt. So, oh look, nothing happens. Oh. Check it out. This is this is what's important. If you press and release Alt and then you hit F, it'll just be a normal F or a normal E. However, if you hold down Alt and then you do E, it'll still work. And that's the way it should be. The whole point of menu acceleration is that you only have to push one key at a time. Okay, I don't like that because, again, there's too many accidental possibilities. So if you want to also block Alt F and Alt E and... Alt G or whatever, then you can. It's down here. Check this out. You can comment this in. Uh, nope, that's the wrong way. Control Q. Save, go back here, double click. Now, if I do Alt F, I get a message box instead. You see that? And you can replace the message box with anything you want. Ta da! So, you want to mess with this, you can add stuff down here. You can uh, add some tool tips to help you diagnose things, but it's really quite a simple script. Save, double click on it. It works. Uh, that's all. Okay, and since we're at the end of the video now, yeah, I'm, I'm looking through videos of people. He's like, oh, open up a thing and do some bullshit. Um, this guy says delete the local repository. I tried that. It tried overwriting some of the files I already had. I don't know what the problem is, and I don't know how to fix it. It opened up a PowerShell. It doesn't work. Uh, I don't know how to open a shell. How do I open a shell? None of these video tutorials show how to actually open a shell. Drop down to shell. 
Okay, this only makes sense if you already know what to do. And if you already know what to do, why do you need this guy to tell you what to do? That's the problem with programming tutorials. They assume that you know so much shit that you don't know. Uh, open in git shell? Oh god. Fetch? Let's see, pull? Git fetch? Oh my god. Did that, did that do it? It looks the same. What is that? Uh, Let's do that now. Git. Git. Pull. Pull. Whoa. The following untracked working tree files would be overwritten. Why would they be overwritten? Well, don't overwrite them. I just want for you to take all the stuff on my local machine and put it on the internet. I don't want to bring anything from the internet to overwrite shit on my local machine. Where's the button that says, don't do it that way? Mm, I can't figure this out right now. Somebody tell me what to do. Bye.